Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam visited Kenwood High School to learn more about STEM integration in CMCSS. Governor Haslam heard from students, teachers, and administrators on the successes of STEM integration throughout the district. Well, we appreciate uh, Governor Haslam's visit today. Uh, we were able to show him our STEM initiative in depth, uh, in some depth. And uh, th I think he had a real appreciation of what we were doing and had some good questions of our students and our teachers. I think he affirmed a lot of the, the concepts that we've been trying to get across in our district. Um, looking at STEM integration, he, he, he understands what it, it can look like within the school and, and just affirmed where we are. With it. First of all, the, the program they're doing with the STEM Academy here is critically important. In Tennessee, if we have a weakness, and appealing to employers, it's the, the depth of knowledge uh, in, in all the STEM areas. So that's good, number one. Number two, the way they're integrating that really th outside of the academy, throughout all the grades and all subjects, I think is really where, one of the pl things we need to be doing in Tennessee. So, uh, you know, one of the things I want to make certain I do as governor is not just stay in my office and think I, you know, I know all the answers about education and job creation and everything else, but let's actually go see what's working. And there's a lot of creativity and ingenuity happening in Tennessee schools and this is one of them. This is definitely an example of, of Montgomery County being on the leading edge. You're seeing good results and you're seeing teachers work to say, <laughs> we're going to do our best to figure out how to prepare kids for what they need in the future. One of our jobs is to take best ideas and make certain that we we, you know, we, we use those to, to fertilize the system, if you will. You know, STEM is a complex implementation. It's not something you can do on the fly. This has to change the way teachers teach and students learn. And in order to do that, it takes a lot of time. And I think we were able to get that message across to the governor that we need time, our principals need time, to be able to do a good job with implementing a program like this. Ultimately, I think the way good schools work is we give we have great principals and we give them that kind of flexibility to know, I need to spend a lot of time with this teacher. This one is great. I mean, she could, you know, teach circles around me. The whole idea for asking for away from No Child Left Behind is to say, as a state, we believe in setting high standards. Then let us define what that looks like uh, as Tennesseans rather than let have Washington tell us. And again, I think it's part of the idea of to see, here's a program that works. Let's figure out how to adapt that, that flexibility while maintaining high standards is really important. We really do appreciate the governor recognizing uh, that we have a very strong STEM initiative here in this uh, county that's worthy of implementation and worthy of uh, others to come and see it. So we're proud of what we've got here and we appreciate the governor and his kind words about our program here.